Hello, this is the name Sin, and today we are going to paint a pineapple with watercolor. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for our future videos. The pineapple, it's a very simple shape, it's an oval, and on the top we are having uh, leaves. Each leaf will be uh, pointing, the base of the leaf will be pointing towards the top of the pineapple, but they will be coming sideways or pointing directly upwards. The diamond shapes are created very elementary, just by having lines from left to right diagonally and right to left. After that, in the middle of each diamond, we have a little mountain close to the top of the diamond so it's like a little point up and also on the side of the pineapple you can see those things are sticking out so we're creating that pocky look of the pineapple i put a base color for the pineapple fruit which is yellow and on the top of the leaves i have green and yellow and also darker green where the shadows are on the bottom of the leaves or right at the base of each leaf. And I will have a few layers of that shadow and also another layer of that light color. But already the top leaves are looking pretty good. We can totally make out that this is um, some sort of a greenery leaves and um, looks very three-dimensional already with the first uh, layer. The next part is adding a little bit of a shadow on each diamond. Between the diamonds we have those indents but we are not going to cover them with shadow yet. We want to concentrate on our main element of the pineapple which are those diamonds and we are going to add the shadow and also a lot more color to the left side of each one so it will uh, create that illusion of three-dimensional painting i am mixing um, ochre with green to give that really earthy green tone um, and that will be part of the pineapple uh, shadow and sometimes I'll add um, a little bit of black in that color too so it's a little bit deeper shadow now here what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit too much color but I am actually adding it in the area where I know there is a lot more shadow then I will wash my brush and run it over to spread that color in that little area of the diamond and kind of uh, give a little bit of a hue to the rest of that um, area and just makes it super super easy the most important thing is do not have don't have a drippy brush don't put too much water when you're doing this and obviously we want clean brush when we are running over that color uh, we are going to make sure that areas are dry before we go and put another layer on them so you're going to see me moving around the pineapple from top to bottom and kind of giving a chance to each area to dry before I put more colors and more layer uh, layers on the area because we're dealing with a lot of little shapes there so we want to make sure they're not over mixing the bottom part of our pineapple will have a little bit darker shadow so you see right here how I um, got my black in there with the ochre and I am emphasizing on the shadow on the bottom which will be grounded as soon as we put a base shadow also underneath our pineapple. And pretty much if you make one of those shapes, it's going to be um, repeating that until you fill in the whole pineapple. I'm 
starting to fill in a little bit more between um, each diamond shape and also increasing the shadow and the color less shadow on the leaves that are sticking upwards because they're exposed a lot more but still adding a little bit of shadow on the base of those leaves and you'll see here once i add my base which is it's a mixture between magenta and ultramarine we'll have a beautiful base and that will make our pineapple grounded, not floating in the air. And let's give a little more color to the top of the leaves with a really bright green. And also, um, once I add that darker green to the base, I'll run again clean brush and kind of move that paint a little upwards on the leaves. And I'll do that to absolutely every single area in the pineapple. But if you have any questions, um, please just post them in the description below and I will try to answer them. So I'm going around and just adding and emphasizing a little bit more on the shape and where of the shadow of the shape is with purple colors. And you see my shadow is getting really, really um, dense here. There's a lot of shadow, but I will run a clean brush and take some of that away. You see how that shadow is not there anymore um, the really bright and dark shadow so I took some of that shadow away with a clean brush and I will add a yellow background to this just to make the pineapple pop and all those yellow and bright colors to be pushed forward but pretty much that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and thanks for watching happy painting